I'm Judith Diago. I'm one of two occupational therapists working in the Inclusive Education Department at False Bay TVET College. We've made this video to give you an idea of some of the support that our students with disabilities receive at the college. And you'll be hearing directly from the students, from their parents, and also from one or two of the lecturing staff who are such a crucial part of the support that is provided. I am Jackie Lenting, also an occupational therapist. We hope that this video and presentation will be a meaningful starting point to help you understand and engage around student disability support. I am Sean van Staden and I'm the program head and I work within the business studies department. My background in inclusive education is mainly through my interest and research completed for a master's degree. My experience in terms of working with the Inclusive Education Officer is that she assists with the screening of the prospective student um, and also to assist with seeking appropriate advice regarding the placement of prospective students to ensure that the students are placed in the program where he or she is best suited and to ensure that there is a reasonable accommodation for students with disabilities within the mainstream environment. In the past, I've dealt with students with low vision, blindness and hearing impairment. I received advice from Inclusive Education Officer around the student's disability. I also receive advice while the student is on course. Very often the students would relate what could be working, how things could be changed, or how things could, um, the other situation could be improved. Also around what feedback I received in terms from the lecturers in the classroom. Teachers are non-special educators and therefore did not receive specialized training on how to teach students with specific disabilities. The Inclusive Education Officer provided practical examples on how students with impairments can be included in the mainstream classroom. My role is to ensure that the concessions are implemented at college level. For example, if a scribe is provided, extra time per hour during the examination, and to ensure that appropriate venues venues are allocated during examination sessions. My name is Rubaida Sambo and today I will be speaking to you about inclusive education at Falls Bay College Musenberg campus. I absolutely love working with Judith and with Jackie. They provide such sound advice in terms of uh, the students that we deal with that come from the uh, inclusive education department that is recommended by Jackie and by Judith. The advice they provide is not just in terms of the students but it's also an amazing learning lesson for myself. Um, just to build my experience in dealing with students uh, that have special needs. When a student applies at Musenberg campus um, and they do have or they have disclosed that they are special needs student, they would be referred to uh, Judith Diaga. She's our occupational therapist. And then she would then assess the student and then communicate with myself, who is the education specialist. Then I would meet with Judith and, <clears throat> and the student and the student's parents. Okay? And we would discuss the occupational therapist who would also advise reasonable accommodation strategies and suggest suggestions to the education specialist as well as to the parents of the student and the students themselves. This is a very important guidance as it shows the education specialist like myself and the parents and the students what is expected of all parties. In my personal capacity, inclusive education is my passion. I absolutely love working with my education, with my um, inclusive education students, as well as the two amazing occupational therapists, both Jackie Lenting and Judith Diyaka. In fact, I'd like to share a personal 
experience of mine when my students do really well i am elated i get excited in fact i sometimes jump out of my chair because this is such a great achievement for me and a huge success and i really feel that if they have achieved as students and that means i've achieved my goal as a lecturer because my goal is to see my students become successful how we can help them in terms of applying for a scribe <clears throat> as well as um, if the student has a visual impairment we photocopy the question paper of the assessment in a3 uh, format so that it's better for the student to see we also provide study skills um, guiding the students how to analyze the questions both jackie and judith are amazing with that for the duration of the in-service training guidelines need to be sent to the host employer informing them of who they're dealing with this is extremely confidential um, information um, as we don't want any discrimination to take place my name is peter elliott and i am the education specialist for ERD department, a very strong collaboration has been formed between myself and Jackie Lentin over the years during interviews that we conducted with native students who have attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder and advising and guiding these students as to study pathways and qualifications required for them to successfully apply for apprenticeships. Going forward, I would highly recommend more opportunities for students to bridge this gap via PLP or orientation programs. Good day, my name is Leanne Andrews Roman, and I'm the occupational boilermaker and welding lecturer at Falls Bay Tibet College, not lift up. CBT welding are 80% practical and 20% theory, which means that the students' core focus will be enhancing the student's practical ability. The 20% theory are carefully designed in a way that the student will be able to cope with the theoretical side of the trade. The work simulation evaluation screening process helps to determine this way on what level the student will start. It's an accurate process designed by the inclusive education department to advise what this suits the learner. My name is Priscilla Ann Gore and I am 40 years old. I have a disability. I am visually impaired. In 2019, I decided to go and study early childhood development at Fosbury College in just play. Because of my disability, I had to go and see the inclusive education officer. At the interview she asked me about my disability and also made me aware of the options I have to make my studies possible. At the campus they have the Merlin in the library where you can go and enlarge any reading material. The assistive technology that I could take home like a laptop fitted with Zoom text and loaded with my textbook in PDF form also helped me a lot. The voice recorder where I could make voice recording of my notes during exam times really helped me achieve good results. In exams, the question papers were enlarged and I also got extra time. To all the assistive inclusive education officers, Please keep on assisting the, those with disabilities. Because of your help, I have achieved good results. My name is Bikim Zang, a NCVA 11 for IT in IT in Falsway. I am a wheelchair user, I'm not able to walk. An education officer, Ms. Jackie Lending, she's been there for me. She's someone who's willing to talk to who's willing to give advice, someone who's easily approachable, someone who talk to without any problems. She's been there for me throughout the years. In terms of moving around the campus, I can easily I can easily move around the campus without any problems. 
from the classroom doors to the toilet that no obstacles that okay that i can say that no here from here to there i cannot move now circulating also helped me to get food vouchers through quad power it was last year during the covid bear the lockdown she also organized a venue for me for examinations that is closer to the to the toilet so that i cannot be spending time running to the toilet that is far away from the venue she made sure that the venue that i'll be writing in is much closer to the toilet yeah the, the disabilities that i have like uh, as a wheelchair, a wheelchair user it's not easy they must be always be there for their children they must make sure that they are on the same level on the same level as their fellow students by providing the necessary needs the necessary support for their students my name is safia maltri i'm odaifa maltri's mom my son is attending Fallsburg College in Westlake. He's doing welding course, Ms. Lentling and Mr. Harold and Mr. Naidu is a great help for Daifa. Ms. Lentling went out of her way to introduce me to the organization um, Autism Essay. Um, Ms. Lentling arranged with Mr. Naidu a comfort zone for Daifa at college. If it should be that he is stressed out, he can go to Mr. Naidu and just speak and to get calmed down. Mr. Harold, on the other hand, also worked great help. He decided that Udaifa should do one subject from the term of the trimester to make load much easier on Udaifa. Whatever Mrs. Lindley has in up in upper sleeve for helping the kids with disabilities I would appreciate it if you could help and assist her because we also want our kids to have a career so I will appreciate it if you could help her and I really want to thank Mr. Harold, Mr. Naido and Ms. Lindley for being there for me and Udaifa. My name is Nandi Patoha and I am visual impaired. I was a student at Falls Bay College of Study Public Management at the Kailiche campus. For me as a blind person, it was not easy at all. I would like to take this opportunity and say thank you to the inclusive department who've also made it possible. They have supported me physically and emotionally. They've organized a mobility in order for me to move around the campus. They have, they've made sure that the lecturers and the students in my class are comfortable around me by doing an awareness and they've invited people from Cape Town Society for the Blind. The inclusive department made sure that I got a laptop um, and a dictaphone because NSPAS does not answer that quick all the time but they've made sure that I have a laptop and a dictaphone to use in class. They've also made sure that I have electronic books, I have a scribe for my exams, I have my braille question papers, to all the colleges around the world, I would like to say, please accommodate us as blind students. Please make sure that the laptop with chores is provided to us on the first day of the class. Please hire more, more than one staff, at least two or three, so that they can help each other with the brailing, with the electronic books, with the converting, because that takes time and energy. I hope and believe that all colleges will take note of this advice to better our lives. Thank you. We hope that as the TVIC sector, we will join hands to make student disability inclusion a reality. Our work is definitely not easy, 
but it is certainly possible and always worth doing.